Genesis 12, 3, the King James Version Bible. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Mark 9, 42. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he were cast into the sea. Romans chapter 1, verses 26 to 32. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use of that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another, men with men, and working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. This um, so-called Frankenstorm is coming up is judgment from God, my friends. People are saying that it's harp, and which is possible. Anything's possible, but ask yourself this question. If it is harp or a man-made thing, who pulls the strings behind man? God does. God is in charge of everything. God has used man to destroy man throughout history. He's used man to wreck his own self, his own little pea brain self throughout the history of the world. He does it now, he'll continue to do it. You have to understand that this whole, everything happening that I've been reading here is what this, this country of Sodom and Gomorrah, of, uh, formerly America, has been doing. We have cursed Israel now, our leaders, and most of our people, even 15 evangelical leaders of, of large churches in our country have cursed Israel. God's cursing us. And it's not just this so-called Frankenstorm. It's all of the, the housing problems, people being living on the street kicked out of their houses, all the money problems, the stock market crashes, all the terrible diseases, the rare diseases coming back up again, the, the pestilence, the plagues, the, the famines, the freak storms, the freak heat, the freak cold, the, the drought, everything coming together is all from the hand of God. Our wicked leader, Obama, tearing our country to pieces. God is allowing us. We've turned our back on him and hurt him for the last time. He's allowing us to be, to be judged right now, my friends. His hand of protection is gone hand of judgment is on us and look at all the little ones that we've offended or hurt uh, abortion Ro Roe v. Wade in 73 there's been 56 million plus babies murdered in this nation since that time that are known not counting all the ones from the morning after pills and the back alley abortions the number could be several times that many and all the babies and the young ones who were sold into sex slavery in this country and who were sexually abused and abused in other ways God's tired of it and, and what I read in Romans, with the the women of uh, women sleeping with women and men with men, that's everywhere in this country. Mr. Obama made us a sodomite nation several months ago, and now the whole world has been following along, and it's becoming just a horrible thing. And God hates this. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of this. He destroyed people in the days of Noah. As a, it, it was a large part of it was the the rampant sodomy. But look at this. What's going on in this country? I know the world's bad. I'm talking about Sodom and Gomorrah right now, this country that I live in. They did not like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over to reprobate mind. This country is full of reprobate minds, from our leaders on down, to do things which are not convenient, being filled with unrighteousness. Oh yeah, fornication, yep, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, full of murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, describes our country to a T. Backbiters, haters of God, oh yes, and Christians and Jesus in the Bible as well despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Terrible, terrible going on. All the way, all kinds of this stuff happening. And kids are hating their parents and disrespecting us. Bad news. Without understanding, covenant breakers everywhere. Look at Egypt tr tr uh, breaking the covenant with Israel. Without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. And knowing the judgment of God that they do which commit things are worthy of death, but they still do them. I am just, and have pleasure in doing them, knowing that God is going to destroy us telling you my friends this nation is finished it will never be anything like it used to be in the past ever look up my video on 
the Great Horror of Babylon in my search bar. Just just type in Great Horror of Babylon, and you'll see I've done a few videos as well. Every piece of scripture you can think of points right to this country of Sodom and Gomorrah as being the Great Horror. And if that is the fact, our judgment is just getting started because we'll be destroyed by the hand of God if we are, in fact, Sodom and Gomorrah. The Great Horror of Babylon. But I'm telling you, my friends, things are getting bad. They're only going to get worse. You need to make sure Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Make sure that don't worry about all the other crazy stuff. The storm is going to hit, but the storm is just the, the tip of the iceberg. Terrible things can happen out of this. Martial law can come. Obama can suspend the elections. Anything could happen. It doesn't make any difference. Things are starting to get, are about to get really, really crazy here on this earth because Jesus Christ is about to come back in the twinkling of an eye and take the few of us who are ready back to heaven. And then you'll be stuck here for seven years of hell on earth. You'll see the real Obama and all the real evil stuff. And it's going to be just terrible, making today's evil, wicked world look like Disneyland. You need to find Jesus Christ now as your Lord and Savior. I'm going to have a prayer here in a little while. You can pray with me to be sure you know him. So if you die in this storm, you'll go right to heaven. Because if not, you'll go to hell, my friends. If you're a backslidden Christian who won't repent of your sins, guess what? If you die in this storm, you go to hell as well. I don't care what people lie to you and tell you about. The Holy Bible says hundreds of times you must repent of your sins after you're saved. You won't step foot into heaven. That's God's word. It's not Paul Kidd's words. So pray for people on the path of this storm. Pray for everyone who's involved. Pray for this wicked nation. Pray for this world. It's sinking, my friends. The thing called the great apostasy. Jesus Christ predicted it in the Bible thousands of years ago. Then the last day is right before his imminent return that Christians would turn against Jesus. They'd turn against the gospel, against the Bible, and they would turn to wicked ways. It's everywhere, my friends. There are very few true born-again Christians who are ready for the rapture right now. A tiny, minuscule amount. So many are going to be shocked when they see they were left behind the rapture and then they're hopeless and helpless and angry and hating. And I'll tell you something else, too. I never condone violence against anybody. I don't do that kind of stuff, but I'll tell you something else, too. All these false prophets who are big-time known on Facebook and on YouTube and all these false preachers everywhere, who do you think that the Christians who are left behind are going to come after when they find out that they were left behind because they were lied to? Yeah, I think you already understand the, the answer to that question. Everybody better repent right now and turn to Jesus Christ and stop lying and stop blaspheming and being a heretic and a false prophet. All the liars everywhere. I've got videos on them. Look at them. I've, I've got a big a big four that I talk about all the time. Jonathan Kleck, Dave Zacker, and Jan Boshoff, and the so-called Third Eagle of the Apocalypse. There's so many more, though. You need to make sure that you run from these people. I and mean, These people better be repenting soon or they're going to find themselves left behind or even worse, wake up in hell if they die in the aftermath of the rapture from anything that happens in the world. Time is short. Make a decision now, my friends. There's not much time left. Let's pray. Love you, Jesus. Thank you so much for everything. I thank you for your love and for your mercy. I thank you for your kindness. Your patience and God's patience are just beyond comprehension. This earth is so evil. This nation I live in, formerly America, now Sodom and Gomorrah, is a filthy, festering, purulent cesspool. It's a garbage heap. I'm so sick of it. I pray that you would just help people to wake up and see the truth and come to know you as Lord and Savior or repent if they're backslidden before time runs out because when time runs out, it's going to be too late. I ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me and you'll be sure that you're ready to go to heaven. Let's pray. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right hand side of God the Father. And since that time, you've been making place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. Now when you pray this prayer, my friends, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Pray to Jesus daily. He's your new best friend. He loves you. He wants to talk to you every single day. Get water baptized as soon as possible in a Christian church. Immersion baptized. If you sprinkle baptized in the past, it doesn't count, my friends. Do it over. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit from head to toe. You should draw closer to Christ by reading His Word, by praying, by living for Him. And what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take your King James Version Bible to church. And when the pastor preaches, when I talk, when anyone talks or writes about the Bible, you compare it. If it don't match, you close it, you walk out, you unsubscribe, you unfriend, you run away as fast as you can. Because anyone who would lie to you about Jesus, what he says in the Bible, anyone who would lie to you about God's own holy word, the holy Bible, they will drag you to hell, my friends. Run away as fast as you can. 
If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I had the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I prayed for it. He gave it to me, though I didn't earn it or deserve it. But praise the Lord, I've got it, and I'll pray for you every day. Expecting a miracle in your life. I know God will perform that miracle if it's within His Holy Will. And if He does, it'll be all through His power, strength, might, majesty, love, mercy, compassion, kindness, gentleness, patience, long-suffering, peace. It's nothing to do with me, my friends. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Please share the link to this video, this channel, with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog, plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. The cotton candy, powder puff, syrupy, fluff garbage you hear all across the internet, all across the pulpit, all across everywhere, churches, anywhere you look, is the word that leads to hell. The word that leads to heaven, that points people to the cross of Jesus Christ where they can repent of their sins and be saved. It makes them want to repent of their sins. Is the King James Version Bible, the way I preach on this channel. Verse, chapter, book, cover to cover, Genesis to Revelation, all 66 books. Not because I'm anything, is God's everything. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Thanks.